Hi, John from Dire Dynamics. Today we'll be explaining an update we've made to our popular C1R hitch mount harness. Now some customers have reported flickering or trailer detection, so our engineering team quickly came up with a solution. Our C1R harness now includes a T-tap connection for those who wish to use this harness with a separate power source, which is connected using this amp connector and tap wire. The wire with this amp connector provides a consistent 12 volt source and is the power feed for the light, also controlling the timing of the safety stroke feature. Anyone installing our C1R hitch mount can use our included tap wire to tap for a constant 12 volt source. However, this isn't required for the installation. But if you are experiencing flickering or trailer detection, the tap wire is the perfect solution. We'll show you how to do this now. In order to do this, locate one of your two factory brake light power sources and tap that wire. You may need to use a multimeter to find the brake light power wire. With the correct wire identified, grab your included T-tap, wrap that around the wire, and clamp it down using a pair of needle nose pliers. Next, plug the tap wire in line and route the rest of the wiring down to the hitch away from any hot or moving parts. After that, plug the hitch mount harness in the factory 7-pin trailer connection. Disconnect the amp connector on your harness and plug the tap wire in line. Plug in your pod and test for functionality. With everything functioning properly, zip tie any loose wiring up and out of the way. And there you have it. We hope this video has been helpful and if you have any additional questions about our hitch mount, feel free to reach out to our US-based customer service team and we'll be more than happy to help. And if you're interested in the hitch mount for your vehicle or any of our other products, be sure to visit our website at diodynamics.com or use our dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.